Previously on Town Hall 8 Free to Play. My name is Jeff. We played with a level 1 P.E.K.K.A. army which ended in less than desired results. Today, we have an important question of the day to discuss while sharing a cheap farm army for new players. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 11 of the Town Hall 8 Free to Play and our traps. We are motoring through traps right now. We got our skeleton traps done. We got the baby bombs finishing up right now and we're starting to cross into our spring traps, but that's not what this episode is about. We got a very important question of the day. Somebody finally asked the question. Thank you so much. I could not wait for somebody to ask this question. We got one from Zai here. Question of the day. How do you funnel if there are a ton of buildings on the outside of the base? My P.E.K.K.A.s always go around the base. Yes, thank you. So we're not gonna talk about this. We're just gonna show you the attack. So what I did is I went ahead and cooked up one of the armies that was offered in the comments on the last video. So we changed the army composition. We knocked off a P.E.K.K.A. We got like four P.E.K.K.A.s this time around. We added a second golem. So we got two golems, we got two hogs. So here's the thing. I keep mentioning when you go into an attack at Town Hall 8, go look for the clan castle. The clan castle troops could house something very dangerous like balloons or a dragon or something like that. So you gotta make sure you check that. But there's also ranges on these defenses as well that you need to pay attention to. So like your archer towers have a range and obviously that anything that crosses into this range, you can't take care of those buildings with using, using archers or minions or stuff like that. So that's where your golems really come into play. And so we're gonna come in on the side where the clan castle is out to make sure that we eliminate any troops that could possibly come out of there. So we're going to do a little bit of play by play for you guys today, starting out with an archer right here that is on the outside of a bomb tower the bomb tower can't hurt it the wizard tower here can't hurt the archers that are on the outside and then we're going to send some hog riders those two hog riders in our army composition to go into this clan castle and make sure that there's nothing in there actually i send one hog so one hog goes in verifies that there's nothing into in that clan castle so we don't have to worry about balloons we don't have to worry about a dragon then you're going to drop your two golems now the, the golems they're heavy tanks so they have a lot of hit points they can take on these defenses for an extended period of time so we want to make sure that our pekkas go into the base but we have to eliminate all these buildings that are on the outside to make sure that those troops go in and my saying here will relate back to my military days slow is smooth smooth is fast take your time drop your golems drop the wizards back behind just like this and you'll notice that we only have about five wizards dropped there we're going to allow the wizards to clear the buildings first then we're going to drop some wall breakers send them in to open up the compartments the earthquake spells are going to be used in the core of the base and so you'll notice that you have golems in here we got some wizards on the outside working and we have the center of this base opened up with the earthquake spells we have not dropped pekkas yet the pekkas haven't been dropped take your time that's the best part about this so the the golems have plenty of health to get this job done they're going to hold up very well against these higher level archer towers and cannons we're going to drop that barb king in and then once everything is cleared see how everything on the outsides are cleared and now the pekkas can go directly to the base and so the pekkas are going to follow their way in we got three baby pekkas level ones and then we have a max level pekka and they're going to follow follow this around and that's really the best way to explain funneling and the same thing applies for your golem valkyrie hog army the same thing applies with dragons the dragons have to have the outsides cleared but we're going to use that rage spell there in the core to beef up our pekkas take down the town hall and then they're going to split this is what i don't like about pekkas they like to split and go in three different directions and we don't have anything else like a hog rider to come in on the back end to take out these other defenses so we're really reliant on paying attention to where those those pekkas are going to go and then we use our heal spell in the location where we have the big girl <laughs> we have the the big pekka so the big pekka is going to finish up the space we'll go ahead and speed it up the funneling is all that really mattered there uh, and then you'll notice that we're going to hold on to the remaining wizards for the back end and assist our pekkas you'll notice that there is a wizard over there working on a gold mine and then the 
Archer Tower was tied up on a P.E.K.K.A. And so the Wizards snuck in and took it out. We're going to result in a nice three star on a semi halfway Town Hall 8. But hopefully that answers your question. Okay, and if you have a question of your own, go down in the comments below and hashtag question of the day. And we'll be sure to add it into the next video. And if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you throw up a big fat thumbs up on the video, guys. I do greatly appreciate you guys. So we have an issue here. So the uh, clan games have started. We're working on clan games and the clan's doing really well. We're only like day one into this thing. We're already at 37,000 on points. These guys are rock star in clan games again. I love you guys, man. Paradox Reloaded is powerhouse in clan games. But my biggest problem with clan games is these rewards are absolutely horrible. So I don't know if you guys remembered a few videos back I said, but I'm really hoping and praying a little bit for our clan games to produce some form of book of fighting, book of spells, maybe some research potions, something to help us out and speed up that laboratory because that is going to be the one thing that keeps us to Town Hall 8 longer than we need to be. And so now you see with Clan Games started that Clan Games does not have anything that can help our laboratory out at all. Now we have plenty of options to gain gems in order to gain our fifth builder. And so a lot of you guys are like asking me like, if I have I gotten the fifth builder? At this point, guys, here's the thing. The fifth builder is not going to help help us speed up the process at all. Yes, of course, we're gonna be able to max our defenses out. But the problem with this situation is that the fifth builder cannot help this guy right here speed up. And so I need research potions. I need a book of potions or a book of uh, fighting or something. And clan games does not produce any of that. This clan games is absolutely probably one of the worst that I could possibly have right this second. So we're gonna be kept at bay with our laboratory taking it sweet time. I have absolutely no way to speed this up until we get into another clan war leagues and hopefully gain some medals there but until then we're pretty much stuck like chuck all right so we do have two builders available and we have 3.7 million gold and so we had a question in the previous video asking about how we're getting resources he's a new town hall eight congratulations so i'm going to show you this army this is the army that i am using right now in order to farm i can farm faster with this army because it cooks very fast and so as we go over to the additional tab you'll notice this one option that says farming you got 15 giants 33 archers 40 goblins, six wall breakers, 10 wizards. It only costs 127,000 elixir and 95 dark elixir, which is the poison spell. But it also cooks quick, very fast. And you have tanking options, you have wizards, and you have options with the goblins to go around and clear dead loot. That's one of the big things with it. So if you're a new player, congratulations for going to Town Hall 8, and hopefully we can help you progress faster. But quickly, or real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a few of the the spring traps so we got spring traps and our other barracks our third barracks has completed so we're going to put down our fourth barracks and finish up our barracks 1.5 million gone and i'm going to go into and find a raid and that way i can display this army for you guys much 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 later okay so if you are a new town hall 8 i would not necessarily recommend hitting town hall 9s immediately unless you find stuff like this we got 657,000 gold 663,000 elixir 380 uh, 3,824 dark elixir. Now, where is it all at? This is all on the outsides of the base for the most part. You'll notice that there's a little, a little box on the corner of our gold. And if you watch the gold options up top when these goblins go in and start taking care of some of this gold, start stealing it, they, it's, it's going down quickly. So most of the gold is out here in the mines. And so we're going to use our goblins to go ahead and take care of this and start grabbing some of this. Now, remember, you only have 40 goblins and you're not going to find bases like this very often so take advantage if you do find them i find them quite often in gold league and so we're going to use up our goblins a little bit we can switch over to the archers and you'll notice that we've already pulled 200,000 of gold off of this base out of our mines so the mines alone held well we're down to 370 oh my goodness we are <laughs> we are almost halfway we're over halfway actually on that gold so the gold option is basically most of it was in the mines and so the rest of it is in one of three places either in the gold storages or in the town hall in the center so most of it's in the gold storages in the center of the base so we got to figure out how we're going to get in there and that's where we're going to basically use our giants 
And so the same principles apply, 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 apply when it comes to funneling troops. And so you can use giants instead of go uh, golems because the golem is an extremely expensive troop. And unless you're recouping the amount of dark elixir required in order to cook those golems, you need to have a weaker or a lightweight troop in the giants. And so the giants are going to serve up pretty well with this. We're going to use our archers on the outsides of the base, maybe a wizard, and we're going to save our valkyries for the core of this base so you'll notice that the troops are going to stay on the outside of this ring of uh, this ring the town halls in the core more than likely there's hidden teslas in there as well and so the king's going to work his way down towards the south but we got a nice wide path so more than likely let's see where they go there goes the valkyries are going to go straight to the core they're going to uh, target the wall and we're going to need a rage spell dropped in order to capture those valkyries let them power through let's use that king's ability and we're going to drop the heal spell in the core for our valkyries now we only have three that were in our clan castle and you have to remember that there's only three of those and they can only take on but so much so obviously they chose the dark elixir and in this situation they are unsuccessful unsuccessful with getting down the town hall or gaining any additional percent there so either way it does not necessarily matter if you lose that's the thing we are stealing loot so if you're worried about winning you're in the wrong department this is farming and if you're worried about losing trophies you're not going to be very successful as a farmer at all so that's my advice there but what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this the rest of this army and i'm going to find a town hall eight hopefully and we'll take a look at how to hit a town hall eight like this okay so let's say that you are afraid to hit the next button and you just tend to fall on something but you don't know exactly where this loot is at you got 213,000 gold and if you look at those mines those mines do not look the same as what they look like in the previous raid this is a town hall eight and so most of our gold is going to be in the gold storages that's exactly where it's going to be at we need to make sure that we check our clan castle and make sure that there's nothing actually in there and we're also going to try to pull off at least a one star here so we got to make sure that we check the ranges on stuff by using archers and you can use an archer take your sweet time and pick off a lot of buildings that are outside a range of any defenses obviously that mortar is going to nail that one archer and take her out but we will use some archers up here and possibly take out these additional buildings here and so you don't worry about them they're just going to work they're going to continue to take those buildings out they are a lengthy process and it's just like as if you were using the sneaky archer on the opposite base or on the uh, builders hall it's the same properties the same exact uh, familiar situation where you're just kind of picking off buildings with the archers and then we're going to pick a location where we send our troops into this dark elixir because dark elixir is one of the premier resources for town hall eight you need it in order to upgrade your golems upgrade your valkyries upgrade your hog riders and upgrade your barbarian king so now that we've identified that this location here has two defenses we got a mortar and an archer tower we don't necessarily want to send our giants into that location because they will go directly to that location so let's use some wizards back behind them and let them work we'll drop some archers over here and we're going to open up this compartment for our giants send one wall breaker into scout and then send the rest to open up the base and then we're going to use a heal spell in this location to assist our giants they're going to work their way down towards this location here probably all right so you can also since you got a nice wide funnel you can also release the valkyries and they will go into the base they're not going to target anything on the outside and they are extremely strong even though there's only three of them so we're going to use the raid spell in this location send them to the core of the base grab that dark elixir they're going to cut on the wall and go into the town hall's location let's drop the heal spell there to help them out and we'll go ahead and drop some wizards to gra grab some additional percent and we also have a bunch of our goblins so let's send the goblins to the core at least try to and get them into the gold storages actually some are going to stay on the outside it's not that big of a deal they're going to run their way around the base and let's go ahead and drop the remaining archers and you'll notice that we pulled a very solid two star here we're not worried about three stars we're not worried about three stars if you're worried about loot don't worry about the three star worry about finding the loot and stealing that loot that's all that really really matters and you'll notice that we're right back up to four million in gold in a matter of two raids two raids alone so not a bad gig at all not a bad gig at all
All right, so we're going to go ahead and bail on this. I think we've gotten most of Actually, there's a little bit left that's being pulled from that gold mine. Two seconds, one second. The attack is over. We are done with this attack, and we're going to go ahead and jump back out, and we're going to cook that army again or train that army. So you'll notice that I'm also working on the Dark Elixir uh, challenge over in the clan games, but we're going to train this army, make sure that we dump our poison spell. We didn't necessarily need one at all. We didn't have any clan castle troops that we had to worry about, but let's go ahead and train it, and you will see that this army takes about 30 minutes ish unless you use a training potion it obviously goes faster if you have a training potion but 30 minutes is about standard for a solid army unless unless you're using a barch army all barbarians and all archers but you need to make sure that those are upgraded for town hall 8 standards in order to be successful with those and they're only really truly good on dead bases like the first raid where we had gold in the mines and the in elixir in the pumps but other than that this is a really solid army for stealing dark elixir as well as the gold and elixir and that's what i've been using in order to get going with farming so hopefully that answers your question and hopefully you have a better understanding on that army and that's going to pretty much wrap us up for today guys uh if you enjoyed the content or you have any questions any questions whatsoever go down in the comments below and drop that question and we'll be sure to try to answer it in the next video um yeah and smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and we'll see you in the next one guys take care